Hello, YouTube kick. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? We're going to be talking about Carly Russell. So what's going on with this is we have a woman who said that she saw a toddler. Um, she went after it and then she just disappeared. So I'm going to show you the video first because I have to zoom in so much and then we'll talk a little bit more. OK, so I'll explain it as I'm showing it to you. So what you can see right here. This is Carly's car. So we'll start back here. So you see, here's her car pulling over. Now she pulls over way, she starts pulling over way back here. So if you're looking around, you cannot see a kid at all. Now remember this video is enhanced, okay? So there is, this is a lot darker than it's showing. That's why these, uh, the headlights and everything are so bright. So it's been enhanced and it's obviously um, brightened way more than it was. So it's super dark, right? So there is no way on earth that people are say, people are saying that there's no way on earth that she could have seen a toddler and we can't see even a figure of a toddler walking around in a diaper okay so let's continue with the video so she could so here she goes she starts slowing down moving all the way over here okay and that's the reason once again because it's enhanced and it's kind of brightened up you can see you know these lights down here okay so you see her car coming up here so as she gets out of the vehicle, okay, she's going to stop right here. It's going to be super hard to see, but I'm going to do my best to show you. Like I said, I have to have this zoomed in for, uh, quite a bit. But you can see her get out of the vehicle. Just watch. Right there. So I know it's hard to see, but right now her door is opening. Her door is opening. You're going to see her get out and walk. You see her walk behind the car and come over to the passenger side. She's right here. Okay, opens up her car door. I think at this point, this is probably where she is calling the police and saying that she has seen a toddler. Now you can still see her standing right here. Uh, so now this part is going to be super hard, but she's going to walk into the woods from this point. Very hard to see. Now you see her figure walking away. Now she's moving towards the woods. This part is extremely hard to see, but here she is right here walking. Now to see, it's very hard to see, but she is walk, starting to walk into the woods because she's believed at this point she has seen a baby. Still see her, still see her. So around this point, she starts walking. Now she's walking. I, I wish y'all could see it much better. I could see it a little bit better than you guys can. But at this point, she has now walked off. And she is now walking towards the woods. So that leads us to where we are right now. DJ? Okay? So she gets all the way into the woods, and that's the last we see of her, right? Um, and then right here towards the end, just a little bit later, you're going to see... Uh, cops pull up right right here at the end of this video you can see the policeman pulling up right there okay and that's the end of that video okay so people are wondering what happened did she really see a toddler or anything like that and then there is a police report that does come out I'll get that up for you guys quite quickly just give me one second to uh, unzoom and look at that I zoomed right in for you guys let me unzoom here it's hard to do all <laughs> right here for you guys. You know, no edits here. But people people are really saying that this is a lie and that there is no way that she actually saw a toddler, right? And I don't know. I mean, based off what I saw, I would have to say, well, I didn't see anything. I didn't see no kid. And how did she see a kid from that far away? Nobody else reported that this kid had been seen. So... How is that possible? But you know what's so funny, though? Her boyfriend came out and made a statement and said that she had been kidnapped and she has she's too delirious to talk about it. Here's the thing, though. If she wasn't kidnapped and she just was high or she was um, on some drugs or she just had a mental breakdown or a mental lapse, that's fine, too. I don't see what would be wrong with that. But we can, obviously can't speculate until she comes out and talks about it. And then when pe people are going to ask, um, at what point did you uh, see the baby? Because in the video, there's no baby. So let's look at a couple of these statements here. <sighs> All right, so we have our first statement right here. The Hoover, the police, the Hoover, uh, 
Police Department is releasing additional information on the safe return of Carleen Russell. Since the time of the 911 call at 9.34 p.m. on July 13, 2003, the Hoover, the Hoover Police Department has expanded every available resource into locating Carly, and we celebrate with the Russell fam uh, family on her safe return at approximately 10.44 p.m. on July 4th. The following information are facts that we have been able to determine at this point in the investigation. We are still gathering and evaluating evidence in this case. Uh, I want to say this. So pretty much how she ended up coming back home. You can see Candace always talking about it over here. Uh, she ends up coming back home and uh, she comes back home on foot. If you continue to read this thing, pretty much they just say, um, you know, that she pulled over. She thought she saw a taller um, and they don't even mention that nobody else didn't see the toddler. They just said that she pulled over, saw a toddler, wasn't there, and then she ended up coming back home. And they thank everybody for their assistance, and they thank her that she was in the hospital. They retraced her steps. As you can see, I'm slowing it down for you guys. You can pause the video if you would like. And that's pretty much all that happens. And so you see over here that Candace Owens says, <clears throat> The Hoover police have now confirmed that only Carly phoned in a report of having seen a toddler wearing a diaper walking down the busy interstate. This is indeed, that is indeed curious. Carlene's boyfriend has posted an update on Facebook that she was kidnapped, but it is now, but it is now home safe. However, the police have not confirmed the kidnapping detail in their update, nor did they deem it necessary to issue a warning for the public at large to remain vigilant. Worth noting, this police statement also does not ask the public to help locating the alleged toddler, which in my view is the most critical element of this case. And another thing is people are saying is like, the fact that they didn't say anything about the toddler is because they don't believe it to be true. Uh, another thing also is that the boyfriend did put this on Facebook. And he literally says she has been kidnapped, but she cannot talk about it because she's exhausted. So somebody's lying. OK, either she saw the toddler and nobody on earth seen that toddler. Remember what you saw in that video was enhanced. So it looks a lot brighter than it may have seen. It would have been much darker. So unless the little boy was standing in the woods. There's just no way. And why was she the only one to pull over? In fact, she started pulling over on the exit much further back, which you guys couldn't see until I showed you pulling, showed her pulling up. And I'll actually show that video for you and show you how far back she actually was. Okay, let me show you the video again. So she's way back here, guys. Y'all can see at the bottom of the screen. She's back here. She ends up pulling up all the way up to here where you see my mouth. So watch how far she goes. So remember, she's back here. I think she pulls up somewhere either in this area or this area. But we'll see. She is pretty far back. So how on earth, and it's much darker, like I said, how on earth did she see a toddler walking around in a, a toddler, by the way, as you can see? The baby would have been so small. Look how far up she gets. So she's trying to say from back here, way back here, she saw a toddler all the way up here. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, my issue also is if she did fake all this, at, I mean, why? What, what does it matter now? It's not like you're getting paid for this or anything. So why would you lie about this? Maybe she thought she really did see a toddler and then that that's the issue. Okay, we can live with that. But if she comes out and say I was kidnapped or she starts making some story or say it was white guys that came and got her, she better not go that goofy route because that will end quickly. So we need to know what happened for real so we can get off this case. But I don't understand why she would lie about this. Right, right At this point, she has nothing to gain. Nothing. Like, what, are they going to give her a raise at work? I don't understand. Like, why would you lie about such a thing? I'm just hoping she comes out and says, I thought I saw a toddler and I didn't. I ended up walking all the way back home. And Or she's going to have to come out and say she got kidnapped. And if she did, now it's got to be investigated. I just don't know how she's going to spin this story into her favor. But obviously, I will do my very best to keep updated on this for you guys. And I will make more videos on this. But as far as we have it right now, I have no idea why she's making this story. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'm out of here. Goodbye.